Urban spaces. A number of artists decided to work with the broad theme of the urban landscape and specifically cityscapes of Johannesburg. Philip Rayford Johnson put a camera at the top of his studio in downtown Johannesburg. This camera is connected to a computer with an internet connection, which transforms the cityscape into the digital languages of zeros and ones, and then gets it beamed through internet to a computer in the exhibition space and a real-time view of the Johannesburg cityscape is projected onto the walls of the gallery, literally beaming a picture of Johannesburg into Cape Town and transporting the viewer into a virtual representation of Johannesburg. Two other pieces deal with downtown Johannesburg in very different ways. Flyover, an ethnography, is a collaborative piece between three artists, Jonathan Kane. Zen Marie and Eugene Aris. They are using the techniques of anthropology to look at a space which we usually take for granted and do not look at, the highway flyover. As a commuter you drive through these spaces every day and don't really give a thought to the many people that work on these spaces, live under them or maintain them. In this work, the artists collect the narratives of some of these people and collect images, both still and moving, of the flyover to build up a complex view of the space and force you to look at the flyover with new eyes. In the series of black and white photographs entitled Paper Trail by Dave Robertson, he uses panoramic views of downtown Johannesburg to build up an atmospheric narrative of the people who collect paper on the streets of the city and bring it to recycling depots to be recycled. He emphasizes the trail or journey that the paper collectors and the waste paper takes by using the wide view of the panorama and by distortion of light creating images which blend areas of clarity and atmosphere. He works both in the documentary tradition, giving us a glimpse into the lives of people who we would not usually see, and subverts it with his technique of using long exposures to create the waves of light and movement.